Hi, Samantha. Hi. First of all, how are you today? Very good. <laughs> Very excited and thank you for coming. Uh, it's our pleasure. Now, um, of course, uh, as a beauty queen, it's a uh, top of the mind question. Mm -hmm. uh, are you closing your doors to pageant? I don't want to close my doors to any and all opportunities. Uh, you know, when I first joined Beauty Beating Filipinas, I, it wasn't planned. Mm -hmm. But the fruits that came out of it, the opportunities and the network I built because of it um, made me who I am today. So I don't want to close my doors to any and all opportunities. Yeah. But what made you decide to shift to you know community development with uh, Amara? At Kalina, Kalina Foundation. Pak Foundation. <laughs> Pak Foundation. You gotta say it with conviction. Say, with uh, you know, Pak Foundation. Yes, you know, the tagline of Pak Foundation is mm -hmm. Pak, my pangarap. Mm -hmm. So, meaning our goal with the Pak Foundation is to really have kids dream free. Because, mm -hmm. you know, if you have basic necessities like food, water, electricity, then they have a stable home, they have a stable education, and they could literally be whoever they want to be. So I think what brought me or prompted me to start the foundation is the fact that I'm also a COO of my family's corporation, which is a land development corporation. And, you know, when you are developing a community, you want to make sure that everyone around you prospers. And so my family has always believed in the saying, angat isa, angat lahat dapat. And one of your first projects yes. is building classrooms. Correct, yes. Internate. Mm -hmm. And why do you think... Um, this should serve as an anchor of your future initiatives. Well, I think, you know, building classrooms is, first of all, people need a place to go to school for their education. And when I heard about the problem happening in my own hometown, actually I live 10, 15 minutes away from this school, um, I really wanted to take action right away. And I think it, it, it's just a good sign of good faith you know, mm -hmm. for the kids. So, of course, uh, building classrooms is just part of the whole umbrella of you know, Correct. Um, um, promoting education yes. or providing yes. education, yes. making it accessible. Yes. But bakit ito yung napili mo, uh, you know, why is education so close to your heart? Well, because my parents always ingrained in me that education is the one thing that people can never take away with you, from you. Mm -hmm. So if you have a degree in business, uh, as long as you have a degree, you can literally jump from one uh, role to another. Like me, I'm a COO, but because I have business skills, or may that be if someone took up nursing, you know, there are certain skills that you can gather from having education and you can apply that in real life. Because if you are to get a degree, whether that be high school, college or even grade school you need to have some sort of discipline hence why I think education is so important for kids more than just the practical or technical knowledge that they are learning and at the moment uh, you are focusing in Kavita of course yes do you have any plans to expand your initiative throughout the Philippines yes so for the next goal mm -hmm. of PAC foundation is we want to donate a fleet of bankas or boats in the Bohol and Cebu areas because we saw, well I saw on TikTok, nag trending may isang island sa Bohol na yung bangka ng mga bata lumulubog na just to get to school, they have to use a boat and so, you know, that really touched me because like the kids in Ternate you know, they had to walk an extra 1-2 miles just to get to class because there's not enough classrooms in their actual school where they live nearby and so I think that if you give the kids convenience, if you give them something stable, especially when it comes to their education, then they can really focus on themselves and what they want to do. And I think it's the same initiative for Bohol. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. nice to know. And of course, uh, your foundation doesn't just focus on, on education. Yes. You also expand... Um, to women. And also women. healthcare. Yes, and healthcare. Um, you, LGBT. Mm -hmm. um, why do you diversify, you know, mm -hmm. the the kind of initiatives that your um, foundation is, is trying to, you know, uh, like um, to reach? To reach. Yeah. Well, I don't think with anything that you do, um, you shouldn't ever limit yourself. And in the Philippines, or at least even in the community I surround myself in. There are, we never run out of problems <laughs> and most of those problems are always with the stability of the home, education, health. Those are the three most important things that I think 
people need uh, in order to dream. And Kanina, you, you, you mentioned, I overheard that uh, you're the second nominee for a game at Correct, yes. So how do you think your your foundation would uh, complement the things that the game does? Well, a is very much focused on fisher folk, farmers, mm -hmm. and I myself have always been an advocate for sustainable farming. Um, you know, I think bringing in uh, the values of the foundation in terms of really giving kids a platform to dream and giving them an environment to do so is very much in line with the party list's uh, values as well. Well, on that note, through GIMAT and of course through your foundation, um, what is the, the lasting impact would you like to have uh, you know, in our community and of course in, in places that your foundation will be serving in the near future? The lasting impact is, of course, the emotions and the feeling that the kids get when they know that there is someone looking out for them, for their dreams, and someone who actually cares about their well-being, because that could really go a long way, especially when in the early stages of development. And I think that hopefully it would inspire them as well uh, to also give back to the community when they have the chance to do so. Last question for myself. Yes. Uh, you know right now, uh, when they talk about young people, Sorry? When they talk about young people, young people. your generation, they <laughs> said that. drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about young that. People. <laughs> young people. Young yes. people. The Gen Z mm -hmm. um, or the young millennials, mm -hmm. they say that um, Especially on social media, they're just talking and talk with, with no action. Right. Um, how would you like to change that narrative through your work in your foundation? You know a quote that I always live by, and I'm sure you know the brand Nike, just do it. I really believe in that because you know who lang eh right now, especially in the communities that we have here. It's like, okay, you have comments about this. Why don't you get up and go do something? So I hope that when people see the initiatives that my foundations, um, what we're doing, um, I hope that they can get inspired to do the same thing because it really doesn't take that much in order to execute a plan. You know, it's really true what they say that people have so many dreams and dami nilang pangarap, pero tamad sila and again, if you really want something in life, you'll find any way to do so. But if you're you'll find as many excuses as you want. So it's really about motivation and getting kids to actually dream big. Bigger than themselves and bigger than the community. And final, final question, bonus question. Last night. Yes. yes. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> What's this beautiful lady doing, you know, going to communities and spreading the words that this foundation is trying to to convey to the public. Sorry. What is this beautiful lady oh. you know, doing this? <laughs> Rumarampa. <laughs> Rumarampa sa Ternate. But mm. again, I just want to be somehow a beacon of hope to the kids because I think that's really what they need. They need motivation, they need someone to push them, and they also need to feel safe in order to dream freely. All right. Thank you very much, Samantha. Thank you.